Hey guys, Jeff here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about Amazon and FedEx. So if you weren't aware, a recent feud between the two of them has resulted in FedEx canceling its shipping agreement with Amazon. So don't expect to see your Prime orders in the back of a FedEx truck anytime soon. But then in retaliation, Amazon actually banned its third-party sellers from using FedEx to ship their own Prime orders. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss how things fell apart and where they might go from here. When Amazon launched its Prime service in 2005, they immediately partnered with all the major carriers to meet the increased demand that comes with free two-day shipping. But back then, and even more so now, Amazon was known for using the size of its company to negotiate very one-sided terms with these vendors. Of course, the volume of a company Amazon's size can be great for business, but squeezing the margins down to nothing makes them a very difficult customer to profit from. It was for this reason that in August of 2019, FedEx decided that it wasn't going to renew its delivery contract with Amazon, even though they were worth an estimated $900 million in revenue, choosing instead to focus on its business with other retailers like Walmart and Target. Ironically, at the same time FedEx cut ties with Amazon, Amazon was in the process of building out its own shipping business. They were contracting their own planes, trucks, delivery drivers, and everything else you'd need to become a major domestic carrier. And you know what? From FedEx's point of view, this probably turned Amazon from a customer to a competitor. Fast forward to current, and Amazon has decided to strike back publicly by blocking its third-party sellers from using FedEx ground on Amazon Prime shipments. To be fair, Prime orders shipped via FedEx represent a very small portion of Amazon deliveries. But the bigger issue is the reason Amazon specified for the ban, which was poor performance. And they went on to state that the ban would not be lifted until delivery performance improved. For context, Amazon states that FedEx deliveries were on time 90.4% of the time, while its own in-house delivery service was at 93.7% of the time. While the spread of a few points might not seem like much, because they ship tens of millions of packages every day, even a few points can represent hundreds of thousands of late orders. So regardless of how many sellers the ban actually affected, the message it sent to Wall Street was clear. FedEx shares dropped more than 1% the day of the announcement. So where do they go from here? At the time that FedEx initially parted ways with Amazon on their own terms, they made it very clear that Amazon represented a very small portion of their overall business. But to me, this feels like a shrewd attempt to downplay Amazon's ability as a logistics operator. FedEx absolutely needs to start taking them more seriously. Amazon may not have a large delivery business currently, but what they do have is the incentive and capital to become very large very quickly. So if I'm FedEx, I'm scared. Fear can be healthy in business, and Amazon is certainly not a company you want to underestimate. So those are my thoughts, but feel free to add your own in the comments. Do you think that Amazon will ever be able to compete with FedEx in shipping? As always, my name is Jeff, thank you for joining me, and please hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and if you have any ideas for future topics, please leave them in the comments.